What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tier list. Tony D2 Wild did a tier list on the Yeezys. Bullet RC did one on some Jordans and Seth Fowler did one on the ugliest sneakers. So today I'm going to be doing a tier list on the off-white Nikes. Now there is a lot of off-white Nikes so I might miss a few but I do have a majority of them on my computer right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off with the first pair of off-white Nikes, we have the Air Jordan 1 in the UNC colorway. Now many will probably argue that this is one of the best off-white Nike collaborations. And in my opinion, I think it is too, but the UNC colorway is just fire, like on any sneaker, even on the normal Air Jordan 1s. So I really do like this sneaker, but I feel like it's seen a lot. I see a lot of people with this sneaker so for that reason, I'm going to put it in the A category. I would put it in the S, the top tier, but I feel like it has to be a little bit more limited for it to be in the S tier. Next up, we have the Air Max 90 in the brown colorway. I really do like what they did with this one right here with the brown and orange. I love that colorway. But with that being said, the model isn't really my favorite. And I feel like they could have done something a little better. And I feel like brown sneakers are really coming in because of the Air Jordan Travis Scott ones. This one has almost that same kind of vibe to it. But it isn't my favorite. The model definitely isn't my favorite. So it's going to be, it's going to have to go in that B tier. Next up, we have the same sneaker, the Air Max 90, but it is in the black colorway. Now, this is a lot more wearable in my opinion. It's black, it's white, it's simple. It doesn't look too much like normal everyday Nikes you can get in the store. But I'm not the hugest fan of all black sneakers and it only has that white swoosh with the orange tab. It's the only thing that stands out about this sneaker. So for this one, I'm going to have to put it in the D tier right there. It's not the worst, but it's just not that great in my opinion. Now next up, we have the off-white Nike Prestos in the all-white colorway. I was able to get my hands on a pair of these from the sneakers app. One of the only times I got lucky getting a pair of off-whites, but I did end up selling these because it was that all-white colorway and the netting, I knew it was gonna get dirty. I didn't want it to turn brown or yellow. So I just went ahead and got my money for it. But it is still a very, very clean colorway, still one of my favorites. So I'm gonna have to put this in the S tier. It's definitely up there with one of the best off-white Nikes. Now, next up, we have a pair of off-white Air Force One Lows. This one, I do really like this colorway. Again, I don't really like all black sneakers like that. But if I was able to get my hands on a pair of these, I probably would sell them. So with that being said, I'm going to have to go ahead and put this in the C tier. I do like this sneaker. I would like to have it, but I just can't see myself wearing it too often. So I'm going to put that in the C tier. Next up, we have the Zoom Fly Off-Whites in the pink colorway. <sighs> I really just do not like this sneaker at all. The, not even just the colorway, but the model, in my opinion, is just super trash. So the first one that's going to go in the F category or F tier is going to be the Zoom Flies. I just can't see myself wearing these. I'm sure they're comfortable. But honestly, the model is just super trash to me. Next up, we have the Blazer. Again, with the all black sneaker, it's just nothing stands out about it to me, especially for it being an off-white, I would expect way more. It just has that huge Nike swoosh with the orange tab. I mean, it's a cool sneaker, don't get me wrong. I love the blazer, but with this colorway right here, it's just not my favorite. So this one right here is gonna have to go in that E category. It's not terrible, it's not an F tier for sure, but it's just not really good in my opinion. Next up, we have the orange Mercurials, and really, I just dislike this model. Just like the Zoom Flies, the model is just atrocious. It looks like a granny sneaker to me. It says foam on the side, which is just super ass. But besides all that, I mean, the colorway isn't too bad. It's orange and white and blue. I see a little bit of blue in there. The model is just really not doing it for me. So I'm gonna have to put that in the F tier. I would not wear these for the life of me. I would not buy these, but I do know some people are a fan of these. So, you know, do you, but for me, super garbage. Now, next up we have the Prestos in the all black colorway. Now I know I said I did not like all black colorways. I think they're, you know, they're not really too great, but with this one right here, I absolutely love this colorway right here. Now I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the all black sneakers, but it just works super well with the Presto colorway. It has the air in the back on like in white, has the swoosh, you know, it looks good. It has some standout features. 
I really do love this one right here. So with that being said, I'm gonna put this in the S tier. You know, I love the model. I would love to have this colorway, but you know, it was hard to get and I'm not paying myself for them. Another reason I do like this because it's an all around shoe. You can wear it whenever. You know, it won't really get too dirty. It's a subtle flex, it's nothing too loud. So that's gonna go in the S tier. Next up, we have the Vapor Max. Now, I haven't had a pair of Vapor Max. I have not even tried on a pair. I do like the model, but from what I've heard, it squeaks after a while, the little bubbles on the bottom. They squeak after a while, so that really deters me from getting a pair. But I've heard they're super comfortable. I heard great things about them as well. But with this colorway, it's just a black and white. It's nothing too special about this one. I feel like you can get a colorway that looks just like this if you walk in a Foot Locker. So I don't really see the hype about this one right here. I mean, I would like to have it, but it's nothing too special. So it's just gonna go ahead and go in the C tier. Next up, we have the same sneaker, but it's in that white colorway. Now it looks so, so, so much better in white. It's like that off-white creamish color with the like blue translucent air bubbles. I think the colorway goes super hard. I would love to have this pair right here. So I wouldn't put it in the top tier, the S tier. I'll put it in the A tier. You know, it's an amazing shoe, but it's not, you know, one of my all time favorites. I really should get a pair of Vapor Max for the summer. I think it's a cool summer shoe. So, you know, maybe I'll try it out. Who knows? Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 in the Chicago colorway, which is another fan favorite. Definitely one of my favorites. If I could choose any one I could get my hands on, it would definitely be this one right here. Super wearable, it's an Air Jordan 1. The Chicago colorway is just cl classic. So that's gonna go ahead and go in the S tier. I really do want the sneaker, but I'm not paying that resale price. Hopefully one day I will get my hands on a pair, you know, trading a bunch of sneakers for this one, but we'll have to see about that. Next up, we have the Off-White Converse. You know, when these first released, I really did want to get my hands on these. I absolutely like love these. But after a while and looking at them now, I really don't see what's so special about these. I mean, besides the fact that they're off white, the colorway is normal. It has that little striped midsole. Nothing special about this sneaker right here. I remember I entered like five raffles and I didn't get to win any of them. So I may be a little salty, but this one right here, I'm going to have to put this in the D tier. It's just, it's not bad, but it's not the greatest. So I think D tier is appropriate. All right guys, so next up is the blazer in that like hollow eve colorway. I really like this sneaker right here. I was dying to get this when it like first came out, but wasn't able to. But the colorway is super hard. That orange swoosh, the tan, it's just, it goes crazy. And I feel like it's very wearable for some reason. I really fell in love with these when I saw everyone post it like on feet shots. I think they look super clean on feet. The off-white blazer with the big swoosh, I think is really clean. It just has to be the perfect colorway. So with this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the B tier. I think that's, you know, I think that's fair. Next up, we have the off-white Air Jordan ones in the all-white colorway. I believe this was like a Europe exclusive or something like that. So people couldn't really get their hands on a pair, but this is definitely like the most wearable out of all of them. It's just so clean. Like you cannot go wrong with this sneaker right here. So for this one, I'm gonna have to put that in that top tier, which is the S tier along with the Chicago ones the black and white Prestos, super fire. Now next shoe up, we have the Hyper Dunks. Now I don't really know how I feel about these. I feel like this would be a cool like on court sneaker, but only on court because if you try to wear this casually, it's just not gonna work out too well. The colorway is clean, it's just that white colorway, which is pretty nice. Like I said, on court will be fire, but you know, casually, I don't think you can really wear these. I don't think they look good with jeans at least. And I feel like people who actually got their hands on these don't actually use these on court because it might be their first off-white, so I'm sure they wear them out. But I don't know, for this one right here, just for ball, like I said, it's good. So I'm gonna have to put this in the E category or E tier, whatever you wanna call it. So I think that's fair. Next up, you have a pair of off-white Air Max 90s. Now, Air Max 90s are a very comfortable shoe. The colorway is just white and black, pretty simple. I do like this sneaker right here. I like the model, so everything works well with the sneaker. I know they did release a couple other colorways with the Air Max 90, like the um, Serena Williams, which is like that rainbow uh, gradient colorway type thing. This one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the B tier. It will be a cool sneaker to have, but it's not like a must have, if you know what I mean. Next up, we have the Volt Air Maxes. Now, this one is 
I love this colorway right here. I don't, not really like a big fan of loud colorways, but with this Volt Air Max, I think it goes super hard. I wouldn't put this in the S tier. It's not like the best of the best, but I will put it right under that in the A tier. So that's gonna go right there. Super fire colorway. I don't really know what resale on this is going for, but I would like to get my hands on a pair of these in the future. Next up, we have the Zoom Flies. Again, the model, trash, the colorway, all black, trash. This is terrible, terrible sneaker right here. I would not want these. Even if these were offered to me for retail, I'm turning it down. Or maybe not, I might probably try to resell them or something. But anyway, this one is gonna have to go in that F tier. It's just a terrible model, terrible colorway. It's a no for me. Now next up we have the Serena Williams Blazers. The colorway right here is kind of, it's okay. It's not my favorite. I mean, the gradient uh, midsole is pretty cool, but I just feel like it's super girly for a guy to wear, at least. I mean, I'm sure some guys really do like the sneaker still, but for me, I really just can't see myself wearing these too often. So, you know, this is gonna go in that uh, D tier. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just in that middle range. Now, next up, we have another blazer. I think this is the first one to drop. It was part of that 10 series or pack or whatever you wanna call it. This one right here, Dumb fire. I would love to have this sneaker right here. I mean, it's a cool sneaker to have, but I wouldn't say it's like top of the top. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in that A tier. I would like to have it, but it's not a must, must have. Now, last one up, we have the Off-White Presto. I think this was the first one to come out. Now, this one set the tone for the rest of the Off-White series. When this sneaker dropped, everyone went crazy for it. It's an amazing colorway. It's so simple, but yet it's like so nice. If I were to get my hands on a pair of any of these, besides the Air Jordan 1s, I would definitely go with these ones right here. Presto is just very wearable, and this colorway you can wear almost every day. So with that being said, and if you know how the, my top tier is looking, I got all the Prestos in the S tier. So this is definitely going up there. Top tier, S tier. I gotta do it. So I'm taking a look at my list right now. I didn't realize how scattered every sneaker would be. For the S tier, I have every Presto in the S tier. I got the white, the black, the OG colorway. And of course, I had to throw the ones in there. Those were not going in any other tier, but the top tier, you should already know that. The A tier, I do have the UNC Jordan ones, which I kind of flip-flop between putting that in the top tier and the second tier, but I'll just go ahead and keep that in the second tier. I got the Vapor Max, the Volts, and the Blazers. All sneakers I really do love and I like to get my hands on a pair, but it's just, I don't really care if I don't get my hands on them. Now the B tier, I think they're cool, but I feel like they could have done a little better on them. Now the C tier, I got the uh, Air Force Ones and the Vapor Max. I'm okay with that. And then in the D tier, we got the Air Max, the Serenas and the um, Converse, which that's super fair right there, the D tier. I mean, they're not the best, but they're not too bad. The E tier sneakers that I maybe could have put the uh, blaze, the black blazers in like the D tier, honestly. But I mean, I feel like that's fair. And then the F tier sneakers I would not wear. You can see the pattern here. I mean, the f the ugly like chunky model is just not my thing for these sneakers right here. So the F tier I think is it's right. It's only right. Anyway, let me know what you think about this tier list right here. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Like the video if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching if you watched up to this point and I will see you in the next video. Peace.